When I was in law school, there were no Asian role models in the legal profession, or very few. Um, and so uh, it was very hard to look around for people who looked like me, who thought like me, who had similar backgrounds, who I could l learn from and emulate. Today, the world's very different. We have all of these incredible successes in the legal profession. We need even more, but these will be great role models for you to learn from. When you hear their stories, you may recognize yourself in one or more of them. You may see some of the same challenges that they've faced and overcome. You may make the same mistakes that they have made and they have learned from, and this will all be great for you. I wish I had this when I was a young lawyer, and the chance to share that with all of you, I think is a great experience for me. It's all Larry Tu's fault. A couple of years ago, he gave a fireside chat at an Apaba conference. Over 300 people in the room, you could hear a pin drop because people were really wanting to hear his insights. And some of it were almost life-changing. And so, but the problem was that night that it was come and go. It was only that evening. If you were not in the room, you could not hear this. So this is why we wanted to start a podcast because Larry is only the tip of the iceberg for our Asian American Fortune 500 GCs or Fortune 5 1000 GCs. We, uh, this is all part of our NAPABA 50 by 25 initiative to have at least 50 APA GCs in the Fortune 500. Over the last three decades, Asian Americans have been the fastest growing minority group in the legal profession. But even though you're seeing more Asian Americans at the more junior levels of the profession, for example, in law schools and as new associates in big law firms, Asian Americans continue to be significantly underrepresented in the leadership ranks of the profession. As of today, there are only about 25 APA general counsels in the entire Fortune 500. So each of our guests have really blazed the trail for the rest of us. And we are so grateful that they've taken the time out of their busy schedules to share their journeys with us. You can't be what you can't see. And there's so much that we can learn from their stories and how they broke the bamboo ceiling. One thing that I learned as I was working on this project is how many of our guests agreed to join us because they want to serve and they want to contribute to an educational resource uh, for those coming up behind them. And this actually includes our host, um, Larry. I uh, watched firsthand as he was peer pressured by members of the Napaba community, <coughs> Wilson, um, into hosting this project. And so even though Larry should be, you know, enjoying his retirement and playing tennis and skiing, instead he's out here working really, really hard with us uh, to create what is essentially a virtual mentorship resource uh, for young APA lawyers. So on behalf of all the juniors who will be benefiting from Napava Coffee House, I just wanted to express a sincere thank you. Thank you to Larry, Lola, John, Marie, Alan, Dawn, Sam, Sandy, Ivan, and all the other future guests of our show uh, for coming together and creating this resource for the APA community. We look forward to learning from you. I'm excited to hear about the journeys of Asian Pacific American Fortune 500 GCs as they challenged boundaries and dispelled stereotypes, their struggles, their proudest moments, nuggets for success, and what empowers them. I'm excited for this project because I'm currently considering to apply to law school and I find it really motivating to be able to hear what these talented individuals have to say, so I'm looking forward to their insights. I'm excited to hear some inspiring stories from people who share my heritage and to learn what it means to achieve success from that background. 